In this session we're going to look at how to multiply numbers a little above the base. In the previous session uh, we looked at uh, how to multiply numbers below the base. So we'll start with the example 12 times 13. And these two numbers are close to the base 10. And instead of deficiencies here we have surpluses, so we put a plus 2 and a plus 3. And as before, on the right-hand side, we multiply the two surpluses together. Two threes are six. And instead of cross-subtracting uh, for the left-hand side, we cross-add. So we have 13 plus 2, or 12 and 3, giving 15. Another example. 14 times 11. The surpluses are 4 and 1. Four ones are four, and to cross add to the left hand side, 14 add one gives 15. And we can apply this to numbers which are close to and above uh, 100. So, for example, 104 times 107. This time we leave two digits on the right hand side because the base uh, 100 has two zeros. And here we have 07. Multiply on the right to give 4 sevens 28, and then cross add on the left to give 111. Here's another example 102 times 103. And this method is so, so very simple that uh, you can do it mentally. And we get 10506. If the digits on the right-hand side uh, exceed 2, then we need to carry. So, for example, 174 times 103. Here we have 74 and 0, 03. We can multiply 74 by 3, digit by digit. 3 4s are 12. That's 2 with 1 to carry. 3 7s are 21. Add 1 is 22. And the 20 has to be carried over to the left-hand part of the answer. So when we cross-add 174 and 3, then we add in the carry 2 as well, giving 179. And the answer is 17,922. This is easily extended to 10 to the power of 3, or base 1,000. And here we have three digits on the right, 003 and 0008. And multiply gives 024. And on the left, we cross add, giving 1011. And that's the answer. And of course, this can be extended to any power of 10. So here, for example, we have 11238 multiplied by 10004. Write down the surpluses, 1238 and 0004. Four eights are 32, and four threes are 12, add three is 15. Two fours are eight, add one is nine. Four ones are four, and cross add giving one one two four two, and that's the answer. So how does this method work? Well, we'll go back to the very first example to illustrate this. Twelve times thirteen, and here is a rectangle measuring twelve centimeters by thirteen. And I've split it up into four sections. This right-hand right angle uh, rectangle is three units wide, and this square is ten. And here we have two and ten. We'll look at the areas of these four rectangles, this one measuring two by three, and to com compare that with what happens with the multiplication of 12 
times 13. The surpluses were 2 and 3. And on the right, two threes are 6. Well, that 6 is the area of this rectangle up here. 2 times 3 is 6. On the left, we had the uh, cross addition 13 add 2, or 12 add 3, gives 15. But in fact, this is uh, 150 because of where the digits stand. So in the cross addition of 130 add 20, the result is 150. And that 150 is down here. Where is that on the diagram? Well, the 130 is the 13 along here multiplied by the 10. So these two rectangles together, this one and this one, give an area of 130. And this rectangle along the top here is 2 by 10, giving 20. And if you look at it the other way around, 120 at 30, the cross addition in this direction, 120 is these two rectangles, and the 30 is this one here. So it's a very simple method for multiplying numbers which are a little bit above the base.